life so that he can turn our individual lives around 360 because um, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it's already bought and paid for. It's already bought and paid for. We don't have to worry about our direction. We don't have to worry about, should I buy this house? Should I buy this car? Should I go here? Should I go there? Where should I worship? Uh, which, what should I do? Oh, I need a, a new job. Or I need to go to school. I need, Lord, 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 Lord. Let him lead you. Let him lead you to the best the, whatever it is in your life, let them show you your gifts. Let them show you what you're here for individually. And it's all encompassed to the word of God and the loving each other and the spread. I mean, it's all just put together, brothers and sisters. It's all just put together right here. You see right here the 360 that, that happened. When Adam sinned, Adam and Eve sinned, they sinned. And brought death upon the whole world. And, and everybody living, dying, living, dying, sinning, living, living, dying. Through Jesus Christ, sins are forgiven. Sins are, are wiped away. All of that. 360, he came. Even through all of this, God had still love. Love. And 360, when Jesus came and Turned it around. Now we have eternal life. Everything. We don't even have to be down here right now. And what's going on in this world. And we don't even have to be bothered with everything that's going on. That the devil has rebuked in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Whoo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise him. Praise his holy, holy name. <laughs> Whoo. I get so excited. This is good. This is good. This is good. Ooh, the law, reading along, reading, 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 reading along. The law was brought in so that more people would sin the way Adam did. This is the law. But where sin increased, there was even more of God's grace. Even more. You see the reversal here? You see the reversal? You see? Just the opposite is being done. Sin once used death to rule us. Sin once used death to rule us. Doesn't rule us anymore. But God gave us more of his grace. So that grace. G-R-A-C-E grace. Could rule by making us right. By making us right with him. Woo. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. I, I got it. I, oh, I'm feeling it right now. And this brings us eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Woo. Clap along with me, ladies and gentlemen. Romans chapter 5. <laughs> it's party up in here. Holy Ghost party. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 through 21. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This is so wonderful. Read Romans chapter 5. We needed some Romans up in here today. And we got it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is a new year. This is a new everything, everything. Just keep going. Just keep, I don't I don't do any New Year's resolutions and all that. I just believe and continue to keep going further and moving further and doing and doing and doing. Getting ahead, the fellowship, positive people, uh, 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 happy people, um, just just helping others and everything. I just believe in new ideals, new everything, and just let the let the Holy Spirit lead me into the things that I I I I need to do. We're always creating, um, and we're not supposed to just be sitting down. We're always creating. Who is a heavenly Father, Creator? 
creator of all things. That word creator. We're never to sit down. We're always creating. Our minds are always going. There's always ideals and things being put in our mind. And and don't worry about if this doesn't work, if this doesn't, or I have to do these steps and that step. It's all through divine order. It's all through divine order. It's all to make you stronger. It's all to make you just stronger and go through these steps and have that patience to go through those steps. That's what it's all about. We know God's right there. Before you get there, all the way through what you're going through, all the way to the end. If it's positive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is deep. And I mean, I, I, I feel the workings of the Lord right now. He's here right now. Reach out. Reach out. You haven't dedicated yourself, your life to Jesus. If you haven't said it out loud, there's a time. Or rededicate yourself. Um, right now, I, I, I always knew who Jesus was. Always knew. But I learned more and more and more about Jesus, about God, about the kingdom. And um, I, I, I did not know at one time. I didn't know I had to say it out loud. I didn't know I had to acknowledge him like that. I did not know like this. The salvation prayer, the salvation prayer. Some people say the sinner's prayer, but the salvation prayer. And when I acknowledged it verbally and asked him to come into my life as the Lord and Savior and everything, even before then, things were changing with me. Things were changing. Things would begin to change when he threw that anchor out to me. When he first appeared to me and told me I am somebody, lift my head up. Things began to change. He threw that anchor out. I was tired. I was in a lonely, dark place. I I was sad. I was everything. I was all in my feelings. (laughs) All in my feelings. We are, we are, we are spirit first. Before we are flesh. I was all in my feelings. All in my conscience. And nobody loves me. My mom and father are dead. And oh my God. You know, all that kind of emotional stuff. I was a wreck. Jesus came through that anchor and I took it. <laughs> he said, look, look, look at her. Look at her out here wandering. Look at my sheep wandering. Wandering for years. I don't know that she doesn't even know where she's going. She doesn't even, she's ready to come home. She's ready to take this anchor. And I took it. And I took it and I took it. Yeah, I was ready. I didn't even know what I wanted. I didn't know. He came. He gave me that anchor. And and began to clean me up inside out. And turn my life around. This is what Jesus came here for. This is what the blood of Jesus is all about. This is what happened. He reversed the 360. From what the sin of Adam. He did a 360. And right now ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to say it out loud and repeat after me right now. The salvation prayer, if you want to change your life or rededicate yourself right now. It's okay if you, you said it, you do it, you did it with the preacher, the pastor, or you didn't, or whatever you know. You just say it and acknowledge it. Repeat after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. And that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you right now to come into my life. Into my heart. And I accept you as my Lord and as my Savior. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Welcome, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome those of you who have said this for the first time. Welcome those of you who have rededicated yourself. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing. This is a start. Jesus Christ is in your life now. As your Lord and Savior, you have verbally acknowledged and asked him to come into your life, come into your heart, to take over your life. As your Lord and your Savior. Hallelujah. There are angels up in heaven. 
uh, dancing and singing. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing when people come into the kingdom. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that is the beginning. There are steps. Find yourself a place of worship. Find yourself a place of, of uh, where you can get that knowledge and understanding of God, Jesus. Find your place a uh, 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 worship where the move of God is 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 working, where you can see things actually working. God is in action. God, Heavenly Father is the Creator. Heavenly Father, Jesus is still there. Miracles and everything still going on today. And you don't believe in miracles, ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now. I'm a walking miracle. I'm a living walking miracle. I'm um, going over to GlendaCoca.com. Look at that video. There's so many things that, that 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 Jesus has done for me. Jesus has done for me. God has handed the keys over to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Um, um, we are. You got to know the order of the kingdom. God handed those keys to Jesus. Jesus is our shepherd. Jesus, the blood for Jesus. Uh, he died for us. He died for. I can't say it enough. We are His sheep. He is coming back to get His sheep. And that is why we do communion in remembrance of him as often as we can. Whew, this is deep, this is deep, this is deep. And I want to thank you for tuning in, coming in every every single week as often as you can. And spreading that word, brothers and sisters, I love you, I love you, I love you. All, always. And and never stop telling people about the goodness of God. Never stop. Even if you go to the store and you get changed, somebody, you purchase something, somebody, just bless them. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. God bless you. You know, and sometimes I'm at home. I'm at home and I'm not going anywhere. And I open the door. Right now, it's snow out there. I open the door. I look at the pretty snow. I look at, I thank God. I look outside and there's somebody walking and something. I'll send a little prayer out to bless them. Bless that person on their way. Give them a blessing today, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I honestly just bless people walking up and down. I bless people in the cars. May they get to their destination safe. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. There was a man. There was a man and his wife. And they, they were, they are elderly. They are elder, it's an elderly couple. And they walk back and forth from time to time. They walk back and forth. I'm um, going back and forth to the store from my house. I have a, a grocery store, um, on the corner across the street. And they walk back and forth sometimes. I've seen them and they, they both have canes. They both have canes. Well, one day, one day they were walking with their canes, you know, and I prayed. I prayed for this couple. I prayed to God that they could drop those canes and those canes would be no more. In the name of Jesus, I prayed. And I kid you not, in I think it less than a, about a week or less than a week, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in my living room, but my sitting in my dining room, and I see this man walk by. See this elderly man walking by, going to the grocery store. I look outside. It's the man that now the the older the elderly man walking to the store without a cane. Amen. Prayer, ladies and gentlemen, changes things. And he walked back groceries, no cane. And I have seen this man, I don't know, over a year or so, walking back and forth, him and his wife with a cane. And just earlier today, well, yesterday, I saw the man again walking to the store. Now, it's snow and ice out there right now. Walking to the store. Wasn't bracing his, had no cane. Had his hands in his pockets. Walking, being a little careful because of snow and ice. But walking to the store. And when he came back, he had his bag in his hand. And his hands out of his pocket. And he was walking even a little bit faster. Don't you tell me what God can't do. I open the door. And I will bless people right here in the home. You can do the work of God wherever you're at. 
wherever you're at. If I leave out of here and I walk to the store, whatever, I pray before I leave to bless everybody that comes along my way. Bless everybody on the bike. Bless everybody walking. Bless the people in the cars. I send my blessings out to people. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, prayer changes things. Prayer works.